Hello, and thank you for joining me today. We have been redeemed from the curse of the Mosaic Law. We at now, in this new covenant, which is based upon better promises, we are under the law of the new covenant, and the law of the new covenant is faith. Yes, it is faith. We live and move and walk by faith. See, the law was given as a punishment on the old covenant to the Jews for their idolatry. It was never meant as a good thing. So those who are this side of the cross, born-again believers, are trying to pick up any part of the law, any of the requirements, the ordinances, the traditions, they are bringing the curse back upon themselves because Jesus fulfilled the law in his flesh. He nailed all 613 requirements of the law to the cross, and we are not to touch it. For those to touch it, this side of the cross is bringing contraband because we are, like I said, we are justified by the blood and by faith. The law of the new covenant, like I said, is faith. In the, the law, the Mosaic law, was never there was never no faith in it. Like I said, it was, it was never given as a good thing. It was a punishment. That's why we have to you know, separate the two aspects of the old covenant. There's the promise, which was given to Abraham, whose seed we are in Christ Jesus. The promise is eternal. But the letter of the law, all the ordinances that requires, those things have been done away with, and we're not to touch it. We are, this side of the cross, living and walking by faith in God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We're not to touch the law. In Galatians 3, 10 through 14, and then verses 22 through 29 says, For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident. For the just shall live by faith. Yet the law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And then 22 through 29 says, But the scripture has confined all under sin, that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterwards be revealed. Therefore, the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. There's neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither slave nor free, there's neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Or heirs according to the promise, not the letter of the law. Like I said, it says those who are trying to be justified by the law, you know, are bringing themselves back under the curse. No, we are under the blessing of Abraham. We are, like I said, we share in every promise. So make sure that you have that, you know, just ingrained in your thinking. The promise of the old covenant, which was given to Abraham, whose seed we are in Christ, the promise is eternal. But all the ordinances, the requirements, all the stuff they had to do, you know, to be justified. And, and nobody could even remember 613 laws, much less, you know, follow them. No, that's why Jesus, you know, came and took that in his flesh on the cross. So we wouldn't have to even be messing with that. So why are there so many believers thinking that they have to follow all this stuff? They're trying to bring back all the old Jewish traditions and trying to, you know, be justified, thinking that they have to wear a prayer shawl with all the requirements of the law on it. No, those things are need to be out of your life. You need to walk and live by faith. You need to, you know, immerse yourself and build yourself in the word and start and stop trying to, you know, live like an old, you know, an old covenant Jew under the under the law. Like I said, that that was not a never a blessing. It was always given as a punishment for their gross idolatry. And so why are you trying to pick up what is dead? No, the only law that we pick up this side of the cross, like I said, is the law of the new covenant, which is faith. We are we have a, a covenant that is based upon better promises. We have back then in the old covenant, they had the blood of bulls and goats. Well, guess what? We have the very blood of Jesus, which he shed on Calvary. And now we have that blood. We have it as, as, as a, a weapon that we use with our mouth. That we can apply the blood, plead the blood. We can, you know, throw the blood in the devil's face because he hates the blood. But see, if you're trying to pick up the blood of bulls and goats and all the other things that they had to do under the old covenant to be 
you know, justified. Well, then you are stepping outside of the faith realm and you're going back under what is dead. And then you're bringing back the curse. And it was threefold. It was, you know, poverty, you know, sickness and spiritual death. Well, so I don't see why people think that they have to be justified by that. When Jesus said, you know what, come to me. And now you don't have to worry about all those things. Just come to him and live by faith. If you mess up, then you repent and his blood will cover you and help you to get back on your feet. But don't try to go back under the, what is dead, the Mosaic law, and think that God is you know, happy with that. No, it, is, it isn't. It says right there, no one is justified by the law because the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith. But the man who doesn't has to live by them. So if you are saying, okay, I'm going to be justified by the law, then you have to, you know, keep all 613 perfectly. Well, nobody could. That's the, like I said, that's the reason Jesus went to the cross. So we had to make sure that we are only, you know, this in the new covenant abiding in faith. And faith, like I said, is the law of the new covenant. And then in Galatians 2, 16, and then 20 and 21 says, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law no flesh shall be justified. And then 20 and 21 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. It means you know, it was all for nothing. If, if, if we're made righteous by the law, then why did he go to the cross? Well, no, we're not made righteous by the Mosaic law. That's the reason Jesus went there, so he could fulfill it. It wouldn't be, you know, and like a lot of people say, oh, you know, we're still supposed to keep it because it says he didn't come to destroy it. No, it wouldn't have been nothing to say, okay, it's done. No, he fulfilled it, all the requirements of it. And he nailed it to the cross. And now it's over with. And no, we don't have an amended New covenant. No, we have a brand new covenant. The old covenant is done away with. We have a brand new covenant based upon better promises and it all stems upon faith in Christ Jesus. That's the, that's the law that we as believers are to live and walk by. The very law of faith, the commandments of Jesus and all of the New Testament. Think about it. And then in Galatians 5, verses 4 and 5. It says, you have become estranged from Christ, you who attempt to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. But we, through the Spirit, eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Notice it says, you have you who attempt to be justified by law. I mean, you're attempting because nobody could be justified because that's, like, that's the reason that, you know, Jesus went to the cross. It says, if you know, if you're attempting, then you have set yourself apart from faith. You have fallen from grace. Well, that obliterates the false doctrine of once saved, always saved right there. It says we are the ones who wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. So those of us who are true members of the body of Christ, we're living and walking by faith in Christ Jesus, not by the Mosaic law. Like I said, nobody was could ever be justified by that. Think about it. So we have to make sure that we had got that in the forefront of our thinking. Stop trying to be or attempt to be justified by what is dead. And see, like I said, I don't see why people don't get this, why they think they have to try to um, uh, live like they did on the old covenant. In fact, that's one of the things that's going to bring a lot of people left behind with the tribulation is they're trying to Judaize the church. And they don't realize that now you can live and walk by faith. You, you don't have to, you know, go at certain times and do all these th things in prayer. No, you can pray anytime, anytime you want to. Think about it. So, no, we live by faith in Christ Jesus. In Hebrews 11.6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. It says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So if you're trying to, you know, live by the Mosaic law and all the requirements, the ordinances, the traditions of the Jews, then guess what? Then you, like I said, have set yourself apart from Christ. You are now you know, in a different realm. And you're in the realm of those who are going to be left behind for the tribulation. Because only those who are true members of the body of Christ, those who are living and walking by faith, those, you know, and there's a, you know, a whole understanding of this. You need to I go more in depth through it in, in a lot of my end time teachings. And also watch my video teaching the, called The Curse of the Law. But we have to understand that we have to live by faith. We cannot 
think that we know we're going to be justified by the law and that we can pick up just a little bit of it. No. The Bible says in another place that a little leaven leavens the whole lump. That means you have to, if you just want to bring back a little bit of the old law, a little bit of the tradition, then you have just messed up the whole. Now you have to follow all of it. Like I said, nobody could follow it. That's the whole reason for that Jesus went to the cross and sacrificed his life so that we wouldn't have to. Now all we have to do is come to him by faith through his blood. Think about it. So no, we can't please God apart from faith. And the law doesn't please him. Like I said, this side of the cross, it is contraband. It is an offense to him. Because like I said, he took that and nailed it to the cross. He went and made a public spectacle of the devil and his darkness. Think about it. And so the devil's having a heyday with all these people who think they're going to be justified by the law. He encourages it. Look at all the, a lot of the churches and ministries. It's getting more and more rapid, more and more prevalent now we get closer to the end of people trying to go back to the old law. When it says right here that we have been redeemed from the law, we're justified by faith in Christ Jesus. That's the law of the new covenant, faith. In 1 John 5, 4, it says, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Think about it, our faith, your faith, my faith, is the victory that overcomes the world. And we were all dealt the same measure of faith once we were born again, but it's up to you to exercise, to grow your faith so you can, you know, get to that place of faith overdrive. Think about it. But it's up to you to start accessing it, start walking as a new covenant believer. And don't even pick up what is dead. Don't pick up the Mosaic law. None of it, no. You only pick up, like I said, the New Testament commandments, the New Testament of faith. Yes, like I said, the promises of the Old Covenant, yes, those are eternal. But all the rituals and all the things that they had to do to be justified, those things are nailed to the cross. Don't pick them up because they're not for you as a, you know, a born again Christian, a member of the body of Christ. And then in Romans 5, 1 and 2, it says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. It says we have access by faith. See, that's the access, faith, the open door of faith. Think about it, into this grace in which we stand. And grace is another door. Now, it's not an empowerment. There's a lot of people who think that, you know, that this false grace message where you just don't do anything, you know, oh, you know, just grace, grace. No, grace is a door. Faith is a door. But we have to do our part. We have to obey this word. We have to, you know, it, it, things are not just going to fall upon us because we said a sinner's prayer or even if we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is the new birth. No, we have to do our part. We have to trust God. We have to believe God. We have to live and walk by faith. And we can't, like I said, touch the law. No, we have to live by the new covenant. Like I said, you know, the promises of the old are eternal. But to try to be justified by all the rituals and regulations of the law, we are just, you know, putting ourselves, you know, in a different category, a category that's going to be left behind. And that's not for you as a member of the body of Christ. No, you are to be one who qualifies to be glorified and raptured and sitting with him, Jesus, on the throne. Think about it. And then in Romans 7, verse 6 says, But now we have been delivered from the law, having died to what we were held by, so that we should serve in the newness of the spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. See, we have been delivered from the law because we are to serve in the newness of the spirit and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes through faith. Just like you had to have faith to receive Jesus as your savior, then you have to have faith to receive the Holy Spirit. You ask Jesus to baptize you in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of tongues, and that's how you become born again and adopted into the body of Christ. So this side of the cross, everything is by faith. Everything. And like it says, in the newness of life, not in the oldness of the letter, not in what is dead, because we are in a new covenant based upon better promises. Glory to God. So get this in the forefront of your thinking and stop trying to live like an, an, an Israelite, an Old Testament Jew, you know, trying to follow all these ordinances and regulations when they were done away with. No, this side of the cross in the new covenant, the law that we have is the law of faith. And that is what we have to walk in every day, because that's who we are as members of the body of Christ, faith people of a faith God. Amen. And thank you for watching today.